I'm author Stacy McAnulty. Happy Earth Day! Today I thought I would answer some readers' questions. They are coming from Ms. Sider's second grade class in Titan and at Titan Hills Intermediate School in Iowa. I recently visited these readers and these were some of the questions they had as follow-up. So let's take a look. First question is how old is the sun? Well, uh, according to scientists, the sun is about 4.6 billion years old. It, um, it forms first in our solar system and then uh, like almost immediately after that, uh, we have uh, planets and asteroids and, and comets, but sun is going to form first. And then I have a kiddo asking, what is your favorite planet painting? Oh, so these these students created pictures and had them on the stage. They were beautiful. I loved looking at them, but I will not pick a favorite. They were all just so extraordinary. So I don't have a favorite. Love them all. Next question. How do you know the sun will disappear or go extinct? Will it explode or will the sun turn into a red giant? So from what I know through research, I am not, I'm not a, a scientist, um, but what I've, I've learned is that we have plenty of, our sun has plenty of fuel for millions and um, actually billions and billions of years. So it's not something we have to worry about the sun turning off or exploding. It's, it's going to be around for your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids and great, great grandkids. You get it. It, the sun is, is here for us. Now our sun is called a yellow dwarf star and it's not going to go, it's not, it's not going to, um, explode or create a black hole. It's not big enough for that. It would have to be 10 times bigger for something like that to happen. It will over billions of years change and expand and get hotter as it it does run out of fuel. But again, this is billions of years in the future and not something that you should stay up worrying about because it's it's so far down the line. Next question. What type of books do you like to write the most? Oh man, I love writing all types of books, fiction and nonfiction and picture books and, and novels and, and chapter books and fantasy and contemporary, all the things. Now, if you are going to tie my hands and say, Stacy, you must pick one kind of book to do the rest of your life. First, I would be mad because I don't want to write just one kind of book. But if you did force me to write just a single type of book forever, I would select picture books. I think picture books are everybody books and they're, they're just so much fun and they're beautiful. So if I only had to write one type of book, it would be uh, picture books forever and ever. But nobody's going to force me to do that and I'll get to write all sorts of things. Next question, um, how did the sun form? Ooh, um, more science-y questions. So the sun was kind of born in a nebula. It's like a nursery for stars. We're getting very science-y here. And what I'm gonna suggest you do, because I am not an expert, is I want you to go to your library and ask your librarian for this information. And your librarian can help you out, whether finding the information on the computer or finding the information in other books. And it's something I'm gonna look more into as I work on my next books in the Our Universe series, because we are gonna do one on, on stars in, a, in the next couple of years. So I will get to learn that along with you. So I want to uh, thank my friends at uh, Titan Hill Intermediate School. It was awesome that you shared your questions with me. And at the end, they, they said, we'd love to have you visit again sometime. Ah, sometime. I would love that too. Y'all were a great audience. And it, it seems like you're still thinking about some of the stuff we talked about. So thank you, friends. And again, happy Earth Day. Bye.